When I was younger, I never felt much of a connection to my grandfather. I was always full of energy, and it seemed like he took offense to my rambunctious nature. As I grew up, I began to learn more about my grandfather and took more of an interest in the things that he did, such as woodworking, construction, and basic problem solving. Can I describe Papa? Mm -hmm. Not one to compromise his principles. You cannot talk him into something that he didn't believe in. And um, just a really good man. My grandfather was a great craftsman. He even built his own house. In his basement, he set aside an area just for himself to be his wood shop. My grandmother was the real artist in the relationship. We would select the things that we wanted to do. He would cut out the wood patterns and sand them down and either stain them by himself and put them together or if they needed detail painting or detail or some kind of fabric garment on them. I did that, and then he would put them together. After my grandfather got sick, and I wasn't able to be taught by him how to use his wood shop, I really felt like I was not gonna get that connection with him. That connection I'd always been hoping I would have with him. And then my grandfather passed, and I knew that relationship I had always been wanting to have with him, I wasn't gonna be able to. He wouldn't be able to teach me how to work on a car, or anything. As I grew up, went to college, one sculpture class in particular, I was asked to make a found wood piece. And I knew that there was a bunch of wood still in my grandfather's wood shop. So one day I went over, I found a piece of wood that had a duck drawn on it. I knew what it was. The start of one of his most famous pieces, a reindeer. Now I say it was one of his most famous pieces, Give them away to the church, family members, friends, everybody. I knew that this was my chance to show what I had learned from my grandfather. I took the bowling pin, I cut it in half, put it inside a box I had already made. Inside that box I put the duck, the reindeer. It was then that I realized that even though my grandfather and I hadn't made a strong connection while he was alive, he lives on inside me.